Welcome to Daryl's Beekeeping Videos, where I teach beekeepers of all skill levels about the art and science of beekeeping. I'm a master beekeeper, and my articles have been published many times in magazines such as American Bee Journal, Bee Culture, Beekeeping Your First Three Years, and the Bee Buzz. Now let's get on with the lesson. It to you. That's all it is is two by fours. Um, they're tr my, these are treated two by fours simply because they come in contact with the ground and I do have an area that has termites. Uh, so again they're treated two, uh, treated, uh, two by fours and I've got uh, diagonal braces on the sides and then what I recently discovered within the last couple of years is if you've got a sloped area like I have um, after a while the, the slope of the hill actually causes the uh, screws loosen up a little bit in the wood and it causes them to sag so I just recently added this morning I added this other bracing to the side so uh, if I ever decide to make another one of these I'll simply make that a, a start uh, diagonal brace from the beginning and then I won't have to worry about it as much uh, I occasionally clip this uh, with the mower as I come through here too alright so it's all it is on the bottom you can see that it has a piece of uh, plywood and then again just two by four square or rectangle in this case rather um, and then you see the um, it's screwed down with just regular deck screws and then up on top you can see it's just got cross bracing what that does that allows the buckets to rest and I, I made these little uh, indentations to get the bucket set on hindsight is just extra work I didn't really need to do that the reason when I originally did that I thought well it'll keep the wind from blowing the buckets off but the buckets are heavy enough as is so hindsight I probably wouldn't make those anymore um, and you can kind of see how it is and then I'll take her around all the way around um, and then I'll go underneath just to show you what the bees are doing underneath if it'll go and I'll probably edit this and cut some of this out but you can see the bees are getting at the bucket from underneath some of those holes I drilled and then I'll pan down and show you where the bees are getting at the sugar syrup that has drained. Again, I, I wouldn't put one of these uh, bucket feeders that I have in my hive itself because they do drip a little too much, but they work perfect as a community feeder. Again, I'll just demonstrate with my hand. So you see I'm right next to the bees and they aren't bothering me one bit. All right, so that's it for the video, so thanks for watching.